Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at the top causes of low compression in an engine. Well, there are several factors that can lead to low compression in an engine. When there is low compression, the engine performance will be reduced and power loss will be resulted. Now, let's have a look at some of the top things that can lead to loss of compression. One, worn piston rings. The piston rings are responsible for sealing the combustion chamber and maintaining compression. Over time, they can wear out and become ineffective, leading to compression loss and decreased engine performance. Piston rings help to seal the combustion chamber and prevent compression loss into the crankcase. If they become worn out or damaged, they may not be able to create a tight seal, leading to low compression. Two, worn out cylinder wall. Worn out cylinder wall will have similar effect to worn out piston rings. If the cylinder walls are worn out, that will cause increased compression leak into the crankcase, increased blow by, reducing engine compression. If you notice excessive air coming through the breather pipe, or if you have noticed excessive air coming through the dipstick tube, that could be an indication of increased gap between the piston and the cylinder wall that can lead to loss of compression. Three, leaky valves. The valves in an engine control the flow of air and fuel into the combustion chamber and the flow of exhaust gas out of the engine. If the valves become worn or damaged, they may not be able to close properly, causing compression loss. Leaky valves are responsible for reduced compression. If the valves are not sealing properly, air can escape from the combustion chamber, leading to compression loss and decreased engine performance. 4. Blown Head Gasket The head gasket is a critical component that seals the cylinder head to the engine block. If it becomes damaged or blown, it can cause compression loss by allowing air and fuel to escape from the combustion chamber. Blown out head gaskets can also result in mixing of engine oil with coolant. Damaged head gaskets are responsible for compression leak if your engine has overheated previously. Head gasket is responsible for sealing the combustion chamber and maintaining compression. If it becomes damaged or worn out, it can cause compression loss that can lead to decreased engine performance. 5. Cracked Cylinder Walls The cylinder wall in an engine are designed to withstand high pressure and heat. However, if they become cracked or damaged, they may not be able to hold compression, leading to loss of compression and reduced power. Usually, cylinder head crack happen between the spark plug and the valves or in between the valves, that is the weakest point in the narrow space on the cylinder head. If there is crack on the cylinder head, that can cause compression to leak out of the cylinder leading to loss of power. 6. Faulty Timing Belt The timing belt controls the timing of engine valves and pistons. If it becomes worn or damaged, it can cause the engine to lose compression and power. If there is a shift on the valve opening duration, if there is a shift between valve opening times, that can result in less filling of the cylinder, leading to loss of compression. 7. Carbon buildup. Over time, carbon deposits can accumulate on the valves and the cylinder walls, causing them to stick and not close properly. Carbon deposit on the valve phase can lead to valve not seating properly. This can lead to compression loss and decreased engine performance. 8. Incorrect valve timing. If the valve timing is off, the engine may not be able to create enough compression, leading to power loss. Incorrect valve timing can result from incorrect timing chain installment or incorrect valve clearance adjustment. So in any case, if there is a problem with valve timing, that can reduce charge filling, leading to loss of power. 8. Low engine oil. Engine oil is critical for lubricating the moving parts of the engine and reduce friction. Engine oil can also serve as a sealant between irregular surfaces of the cylinder wall and the piston ring. If the engine oil level is low, it can cause increased wear on the piston rings and other components, leading to compression loss. 10. 
clogged air filter. The air filter is responsible for filtering out dirt and debris from the air before it enters the engine. If it becomes clogged, it can restrict airflow, leading to decreased engine power and result compression loss. And finally, 11. Exhaust restriction. A clogged or damaged exhaust system can restrict airflow and cause back pressure in the engine, leading to decreased engine performance and compression. If exhaust removal from the cylinder is hindered somehow, exhaust gases will remain inside the cylinder, occupying a space that would otherwise be filled with fresh air fuel mixture or fresh charge. So exhaust restriction can also result in loss of power. So what can be done in order to reduce compression loss in an engine? Well, here are some of the things that you can do in order to minimize loss of power as a result of loss of compression. One, regular maintenance. Regular maintenance can help prevent issues that lead to compression loss, such as worn piston rings and damaged head gaskets. Two, replace worn parts. If the piston rings or head gasket or valves are worn or damaged, they should be replaced to restore compression and engine performance. 3. Clean or replace air filters. A clogged air filter can restrict airflow and lead to decreased engine power and compression. Cleaning or replacing the air filter can help maintain proper airflow. 4. Check exhaust system. Regularly checking the exhaust system for damage or restrictions can prevent back pressure in the engine which can lead to decreased engine performance and compression loss. 5. Use high-quality fuel. Using high-quality fuel can help prevent carbon buildup in the engine, which can cause compression loss over time. 6. Maintain proper oil level. Low oil levels can cause increased friction in the engine, leading to decreased engine performance and compression loss. Maintaining proper oil level can help prevent this issue. 7. Avoid harsh driving conditions. Harsh driving conditions such as excessive idling or frequent stop and go driving can cause increased wear and tear on the engine, leading to compression loss over time. Avoiding this condition can help prolong engine life and maintain compression. 8. Use the correct oil. Using the correct type and viscosity of oil recommended by the manufacturer can help maintain proper lubrication and prevent engine damage that can lead to compression loss. 9. Warm up the engine. Allowing the engine to warm up before driving can help prevent excessive wear and tear on the engine, which can lead to compression loss over time. 10. Monitor engine performance. Regularly monitoring engine performance, such as checking for warning lights or unusual noise, can help detect issues early and prevent further damage that can lead to compression loss. 11. Avoid overloading. Overloading the vehicle can put extra strain on engine, leading to decreased performance and compression loss over time. 12. Keep the engine clean. Keeping the engine clean both inside and out can help prevent buildup of dirt and debris that can cause damage and lead to compression loss over time. And finally, 13. Follow recommended maintenance schedule. Following the recommended maintenance schedule provided by the manufacturer can help prevent issues that can cause compression loss and prolong the life of the engine. So dear viewers, those are some of the top causes leading to loss of power as a result of loss of compression. That's all we have for you in this video. If you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.